Good morning, everyone. I'm Eddie from Happy Science International Headquarters. Uh, today's topic is this one, the starting point of the principle of wisdom related to this book, The Ten Principles from El Cantare, Volume 2, First Chapter. OK, let's begin. In this book, Master mentioned about the development stage of uh, wisdom. As you know, uh, there are uh, three steps to gain wisdom. Information, knowledge, and wisdom. Wisdom is like uh, essence to uh, nurture our soul or develop our soul through our life. So to attain this, uh, to gain this wisdom, Master uh, gave, gave us three development points. I recommend, uh, I will give you uh, some points from this quotes. OK? So first stage is master mentioned like this. Learning as an end. Learning as an end. The purpose of learning is studying and uh, nurturing our soul, or purify our soul, or develop our soul. OK? So learning as an end means through study or through learning, we train our soul. OK, this is purpose of our study or learning. That's why Master mentioned learning as an end. And in this book, Master mentioned like this. The essence that lies behind the academic study is the effort human makes towards gaining infinite wisdom. Unless you discover this truth, and if you pursue knowledge only as a means of achieving some worthy ends, you will never go beyond the first stage. So you must understand the true meaning of learning as an end, or knowledge as an end. When learning is not a means, but an end, when you find the joy of life in passing knowledge, and when you feel your soul being defined through this, you will reach the goal of the first stage of wisdom. Okay. So why must I mention like this? Because uh, our life is, uh, will not end only this life. We have eternal life. So the purpose of life is gaining wisdom and returning to heaven. OK? So this is purpose. That's why Master mentioned, please study forever. Please keep uh, continue. Please keep to gaining the wisdom continuously. Master mentioned like this. And second stage, Master mentioned like that. Building up unshakable confidence in your wisdom. Building up unshakable confidence in your wisdom. OK? First stage, uh, we, ha we try to gain uh, wisdom. But it's even in under training. So we cannot control our soul deeply or well. So at the second stage, uh, there are training of our mind. We need to train our mind too. Master mentioned like this. At this stage, you will be tested to see how large your goal is and how diligent you are in accomplishing it. This test can, long, uh, can last, last a long time, and many are unable to pass this stage in a single lifetime. Even if you are an exceptional person, whether you have an overwhelming love for others depends on whether you have moved beyond this stage. If you build unshakable confidence in your own wisdom, you will be freed of jealousy and will be able to radiate a gentle light. The first stage of wisdom is a period, period of self-discipline. So there may be times 
when you show off your wisdom. However, when you reach the second stage, a period of, period of being un unshakable, you are taking a step towards becoming a, becoming a great source of life to uh, love to others. Must I mention like that, this? So, second stage is transforming stage through self discipline to giving love. It's like uh, six dimension of the uh, of our um, dimension level in heaven. Okay, and there are uh, uh, third stage. It's called the wisdom of service. The wisdom of service. It's like uh, serve to the wisdom to serve others. So at the second stage, we try to give love to others through wisdom. But at the third stage, we will, uh, we will use completely our wisdom for others. Okay? So Master mentioned like this. This transformation requires many spiritual or mystical ex experience, either, or, either of your own or through an encounter with someone who has had such experiences. Or it could be also be a spiritual experience where you hit rock the bottom but uh, discover your divine nature after looking deeply into yourself, leading an uh, ordinary life will not take you to this third stage. Just before attaining this stage, people begin to see the possibility of using a uh, possibility of using what they have repeatedly contemplated to benefit and guide others. This is when the knowledge you gain as an individual transforms into a love that serves others. Okay, so the third stage is like third stage person has uh, confidence in the other world. That's why they can serve others through wisdom. Okay, so I introduce three stage of wisdom. First stage is learning as an end, and second is building up an uh, unshakable confidence in your wisdom. And third stage is the wisdom of service. The wisdom of service. And in this book, Master mentioned about fourth stage. So if you have interest in, please uh, purchase and read it. Thank you very much. So let's move on to Happy Science Morning Prayer. ロードエルカンターレマスター流法大川 Thank you very much for giving us your great light every day We practice the principles of happiness love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters With our gratitude we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha prayer to the Lord and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryu Ho Ho Kawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. 
there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of a gathering of bodhisattvas. This is a land of love or the land of mercy. This is a land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is a land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat. So you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people, love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep light mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we bow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. 
May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love us, protect us from all evil, and open a future for us. O Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits. My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.